na de-depress or yung friend mo na iniisip niya yung love life niya. And church is someone who listen to a friend that are in despair. You know, every Sunday, we preach here in feast. And, di ba, all the feast is big feast. Yung iba, thousands, sumata, yung iba, hundred. Impressive on the outside, but unless we break out in a small group, in a smaller group, it's not the church. Because church is able to share with others. Because pag tatawagin lang sa church, but you can able to listen to a friend. You can able to to share to them. And ganon napakaganda lang you have a light room. Yes. Because there in the light room, dun mo may experience talaga si God through the sharing of others. And also, uh, we encourage you to have a feast video. Because in feast video, it's just magbibel ka ng ten to fifteen people, and then you play the teaching of Brother Bo, and then you share, and you pray together. And today I believe God is calling you to build a feast video in your home, in school, in offices. And I pray that God will lead you and give you all the provision that you need. Come on, let's, let's pray. Let's bow down our heads as we pray. Father in heaven, we come to you today as your church receiving your word. Guide us, lead us to those people that are in need. In need of your word. In need of your love. Use us, Lord, in a mighty way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. But you know, a temple is a sacred place where you deal with God. Temple, a purpose of temple is ginawa siya so that you can commune with God, not with men. And malalaman mo if you are in a temple, kunyari papasok ka sa simbahan, tapos kasama mo yung barkada mo, nag-uusap kayo. Maya-maya pagpasok mo, nagulat kami matanda sa gilid, yung parang nakakurbata sa sabi niya, di ba? Yung bawal maingay. So, yun. Temple yun. Because it's a temple required to be silent and to be solemn. And we need temples. Okay? We need temple. But, temple is not a church. There's a difference because temple are pristine, uh, predictable, pure, holy. But, church, but church will always be messy. Okay, church will always be messy because the moment you deal, we deal with human beings, when you relate to human, it is always going to be messy. Okay, kaya tignan mo kayo katabi mo, messy ba yan? Messy! <laughs> Maraming religious people, okay, nagkakaroon ng ganito, they are struggled, they are confused, they suffer from identity crisis because many wants to be temple. Maraming religious group, na gusto nila, ito yung standard natin. Kailangan ito yung gawin mo, kailangan mag-pray ka ng rosary araw-araw, kailangan magbasa ng Bible every day. Eh pag di mo yung ginawa, matatanggal ka sa community nila. And, and they reject messy people. Decades ago, line of Jesus family is like this. Okay, meron tayong standard, may norms, na parang pag umabsent ka ng four times in a year, hindi ka na member ng LOJ. But years ago, Brother Bo embraced our calling that we're going to be a church for messy people. Because they realized in order for us to deal with God, 
is to meet him in those messy people. Because this is God designed church. We are a church for messy people. And friend, God will meet you where you are, mess and all. And I want to share with you the three stages in community. How many? Three stages. Stage one is delirious. Sabi nyo delirious. Delirious. The first stage is the honeymoon stage. Diba? So hindi ako nakaka-relate dito. Wala pa ako sa awe. Soon. In time. Soon. May disclaimer. Because when you first join the community in a group, alam ko marami sa atin na experience to. You stage one na delirious. Ito kasi dito parang pag nasa delirious stage ka, you see people in the community as angel. Mga santos. Mga santos santita. Mga banal. Yan. So, alam mo everyone is kind and generous. Alam mo yung abot ang kala ng bulletin. Sabi, ay grabe. Parang mahal nila ako. Diba? Alam mo yung they are so accept, accepting sa'yo. And you are in a state of perpetual love. Uh, parang ka talaga nasa heaven. Diba? And pag, ano, alam mo yung pag tas nakakalamdam ka, you feel so unworthy. You feel so unworthy to be part of a group. Kasi feeling mo, ito, ito ka, ito sila. Sobrang alaya ang distansya. And, yung pati yung, yung leader nyo, or yung peace builder, kala mo siya si Linding Saints. Di ba? Para siya si Padre Pio in the making. Di ba? Parang, she's Saint Mike G in the making. Di ba? Or, Saint uh, Ian Aceron. Di ba? Saint John Paul Rodriguez. Yan. Di ba? Mga santo. And, alam niyo yung tipo na pag nilapitan ka ng leader mo, na, na feeling mo, kitang-kita nila yung kasalanan. Kitang-kita nila yung ginawa mo isang gabi. So, ganun. And, pag itong stage na to, it will last, hindi ito nagtatagal. O, hindi, hindi siya nagtatagal. Because there is stage two. And stage two is disenchantment. And, at yung stage na to, after 6 months, okay, nasa community ka, makakaramdam ka ng disenchantment. Ito na yung honeymoon is over. So yung tipo na, di ba yung stage 1, you see people as angel. Here, stage 2, you see people as demons. <laughs> so yun na. Alam mo yung tipo na pag, dati, di ba, pag tiyan mo ka sa peace, kamo sa peace, ay grabe, sobrang nabless ako. Ngayon, pag tiyan mo ka na, kamo sa peace, isa lang ang masasabi mo one word. Sabi niyo sa akin ano? Ano? Plastic. <laughs> Kasi ano, pag tinanong, uh, yung, kamusta naman yung peace builder nyo? Or yung leader nyo? Two words ang sasabihin sa'yo. Sabi niyo sa akin ano? Ano? Fake and plastic. <laughs> Di ba? Grabe. So dati, na parang sobrang bless na bless ka ngayon, sinasabihan mo sila ng... Kasi parang dito sa station, kitang-kita mo na yung mga kasalanan nila, kitang-kita mo na yung mga weaknesses nila, kitang-kita mo na yung mga mali sa community. Kasi dati nasa dining table ka eh. Ngayon, nandito ka na sa kitchen. So, nakikita mo na yung mga madudumi. So, kaya palagi ka na lang na nagko-complain. And maraming uh, member na na, na nakaka-experience sa ghetto. Tapos meron pa sa ghetto stage, gusto nila na nakikipag-usap sa mga kapwa na nasa stage today. Alam mo yun, nagpupulong-pulong sila sa likod, alam mo yung sinasabi, ay, alam mo ba yung, yung worship leader kanina, alam mo, grabe yun, lakas kumain, no? <laughs> Or yung ano, yung isang worship leader, grabe yun, babaero yun. Yung alam mo yung tipo na talaga gusto gusto nyo na pinag-uusapan. Or grabe yung, yung preacher kanina, lakas kumilig ko. Or alam mo yung mga ganun bagay. And, tapos sinasabi pa nila, meron silang justification na ginagawa nila yung gossip. It's a holy gossip kasi pagdadasal daw nila yung leader nila. Na sana magbago na. And, I'm not talking about spiritual abuse. But I'm talking about regular relationship difficulties. Kasi pag spiritual abuse, is a serious matter. Okay? And, malalaman mo, pag nasa spiritual abuse, pag spiritual abuse na ginagawa ng leader nyo is yung manipulating na yung yung leader nyo or kinocontrol na kayo. Yung tipo na kailangan natisuti mo araw-araw kailangan nakapula ka, kailangan yung sinisweldo mo ibibigay mo sa akin, or kailangan 
Huwag ka dapat masyado man atuto or kasi masyado ka magiging matalino. Alam mo yung mga galing, minamanipulate ka niya. So ang tawag doon, spiritual abuse. And marami tao nag-stop at second stage. Okay? They never graduate on the third stage. And for the rest of their life, they are complaining. Okay? Ito yung mga complainers. And really, mga complainers leave the community. Hindi sila umalis sa community. Kaya yung mga leaders, Palagi ang dadasal sila sa na Lord, padala mo na itong si, sabihin na natin na pangalala natin siya sa pangalang Kulasa. Yan. Sana, dali mo na si Kulasa dun sa burning wrath of God community. Okay? Padala mo na siya dun, mas bagay siya dun. And today we will solve the mystery, okay, sa mga complainers. You know, Kulasa, hindi talaga siya maglilip sa community because ito yung mission and statement niya. And I believe Kulasa is a saint maker. Okay? The only way to learn to love is the only way to learn how to love is to have Kulasa in your life. Okay? Because when you're in heaven, when you discover mo that the biggest blessing of your community is Kulasa. Because people, because of Kulasa, grow in faith, shame, love, and forgiveness because of that person. And you know, remember this: if Kulasa is the same problem, problem sa opisina, problem sa community, problem sa pamilya niya, maybe Kulasa is really the problem, not the community. Okay? Because wala na mong perfect ng community, di ba? If there is a perfect community, nasa heaven na tayo. Yeah. But thankfully, some people graduated on on the third stage. The, st the, the third stage is death. Okay? First stage, you see people as angel. Second, you see people as demon. On the third stage, you see people as people. Okay? Nakita mo na siya bilang tao. Human beings really uh, have their own bro brokenness and struggles in life. And the reason for this shift is humility. Okay, humility. You see your own brokenness and you realize that the people in community were the same as you, broken and messed. And, alam nyo napansin ko, bakit tayo minsan nagagalit or naasar sa mga tao is because they mirror us. Nakikita mo yung sarili mo sa kanya. That's why, kunyari may tumating na mayaba. Grabe, sobrang hangin, di ba? Yung tipong kahit walang aircon, talagang lamig. So yung tipong ganun, kaya ka nasar sa kanya, bukang maybe may yabang ka din sa katawan. And because nakikita mo yung sarili mo sa kanya eh. Because you are the exact, the, the exact person na nakikita mo sa tao yun. Pero, when you start to embrace your own weaknesses, when you start to embrace your own brokenness, your own struggles, that's the time you will accept people as they are. Okay? That's the time you will accept them. And you will love them and forgive them. I believe humility is the only doorway for this stage 3. Okay? And the root word for humility is humus, which means soil. Okay? Because the only way to be humble, you need to die and to be, bur to be buried on earth. And the common stage, the, the common second stage complaints. Okay? To share ko sa inyo yung dalawa. First is, I'm not being fed. Okay? Meron ko niya, may isang babae. Sabi niya, I'm leaving the community because this community no longer meet my spiritual needs. Marami kayo kilala niya nito. You know, God was never designed Community was never designed by God to meet your spiritual needs. Okay? Because community was designed by God to be outgrown. And if you don't outgrow community, may problema dun sa community. Okay? Because you don't stay in community to be fed. You stay in community to feed others. And, di ba, pag... Because the truth about spiritual needs is the goal of every Christian is to be a self-feeder. Okay? Parang ito lang yan eh. 
Di ba parang yung infant ka? Okay? Na pinakakain ka ng magulang mo, hindi mo pa kaya. Hanggang sa lumaki ka na lumaki, kaya mo napakainin yung sarili mo. When we first uh, joined the community, ganun din, tawag sa ating mga baby Christian. And then, uh, habang na nag-grow ka yung community, doon, di ba, lumalaki ka, nag-grow ka, until the time na kaya mo na pakainin din yung sarili mo. Yung tipo na yan, kahit hindi ka na nanonore sa ito, ikaw mismo maghahanap ka na ng another source, yung mas malalim pa. And hindi ka lang ang asa sa community. Because alam mo, na kaya mo na rin pakainin yung sarili mo. And in the, in the third stage, you've died to your needs. At the end of the day, you live in community to give, not to get. And the second complaint many people is, People are so messed up. Okay, people are so messed up. Maraming ganito eh. Isipin nyo, parang ganito lang yan eh. Parang tatanungin mo yung, 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 yung mga nasa hospital, yung mga may sakit. Bakit kayo nandito? Di ba parang ganun? Right? We are in a community. We are in a community because we are messed. Kailangan natin ang community. Because kung, kung oh, almost all perfect na, lahat tayo nasa heaven na. And here's my biggest breakthrough realization about church. You don't believe before you belong. You belong before you believe. And let all stand up before we worship God. Uh, so I want share sa inyo yung, yung, yung first experience ko when I joined the life group. That time, uh, naalala ko na last 20, 2011, when I first joined a small group. And naalala ko, that time, ang pangalan ng LCF ko, si Brother Nolly, Bella Ben. And naalala ko, tuwing, yung pangalan ng LCF namin, single parent, LG. So that time, alam mo yun, every time na atin ako doon, uh, ang ginagawa ko lang palagi, umiyak na umiyak. Alam mo every Sunday, every Sunday, share lang ako na share sa kanya. Ito bro, ganito, ganito, nahihirapan ako, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Hindi ko na lang gagawin ko. Ang ginagawa niya lang, nakikinig sa akin. Every single week, ganun, ganun, ganun kami palagi. Tapos marami din mga single parent din, ganun. Nagsashare din siya, so nahahawa ka, so nag-iiyakan ka yung lahat. Alam mo yung tipo na, Parang sa parang iniisip ko, parang mabigat-bigat na ito ng LG na ito. Puro iyakan ng iyakan. Pulang na lang magtayo kami ng swimming pool doon. And every Sunday, ganun. So, nagiging faithful ako. Na umaten, na umaten, kahit isang oras lang after the feast, atin ako, LG kami, may pray ako. Until na tayo, nagulat ako, dumating na yung one year. Dumating na yung one year. Nagulat ako na nag-LG ako doon, dumating ako doon na wala na yung sakit sa puso. Dumating ako doon na hindi na problema yung sinasabi ko sa kanya. Dumating ako doon na yung blessing na yung sinasabi ko sa kanya. Dumating ako doon na sinasabi ko, bro, mukhang meron pa talagang pag-asa. Dumating ako doon every Sunday na nagtatawa na lang kami na hindi na kami nag-iiyakan until that time na pinakawala niya na ako. Until that time, God promote me. And then, naging part na ako ng ministry. Until that time, nag-serve na talaga ako kahit sa ang ministry. And you know, I believe the importance of a family, a church. Because church, this is where God will heal you. This God will meet you in your mess, in your brokenness, in your weaknesses. Because I've got the new, good news for you. You belong to God's heart. Amen. And right now, brothers and sisters, as we bask in His presence, as we worship God, I want you to surrender everything to Him. All your pain, all your weaknesses, all your struggles in life, we are all messed up people. Lahat tayo makasalanan. Lahat tayo madumi. But 
you belong to God's heart. God loves you. And He sees a bigger future in you. You are a beautiful person. And right now, God's healing and grace is flowing in this place. So sing this song.
Brothers and sisters, today I encourage you to live every mess in your life today. And today, I encourage you to live your dreams. Let's all raise our ability to God's love. And kung di mo siya dala ko just raise all the dreams in your hearts today. And as we pray, dear God, we come here today broken, messed, weak. But I believe, Lord, if you surrender all these dreams in your heart today, we believe that all the grace that we need, you will supply us. Because your grace is sufficient for us. And we will rely only on your grace, Lord. We believe that every day, we're just one step away, closer to our dreams. And all this we pray, in the mighty of Jesus, Amen. We can 